Well, here's another example of a, an improper integral with a vertical asymptote in the middle of the interval. So consider the integral from 0 to 3 of 1 over x minus 1 dx. So here is the function with its graph in red, and we see that there's clearly a vertical asymptote for x equals 1. Yeah, and it's in the middle of 0, 3. So if we reconsider the integral from 0 to 3 of the function 1 over x minus 1, then what it means is that this is, should be, in fact, the sum of two other integrals. This should be the sum of two integrals 0 to 1 of 1 over x minus 1 dx. Well, consider the first integral from 0 to 1. Then we may just calculate the integral from 0 to 1 of x dx. And this is an improper integral of type b. And we take a limit for t to 1 minus, since the 1 is the vertical asymptote. So we get the limit for t to 1 minus from the integral 0 to t of 1 over x minus 1. And it's easy to compute the an, uh, a primitive of 1 over x minus 1. And now we have to care for the absolute values of x minus 1. So we get as a primitive the ln of the absolute value of x minus 1. And d bounds are given by 0 and t. So what we get is the limit for t to 1 minus of ln t minus 1, yeah, t minus 1 with absolute signs, minus 0. Well, it should be clear that this one converges to minus infinity. Well, converges to minus infinity, what I mean is that this integral diverges to minus infinity. Yeah, so this is a divergent integral, and the integral from 0 to 3 of 1 divided by x minus 1 does not exist at all. But be warned, if you disregard the fact that 1 is in the middle of 0 and 3 and causes problems, then you might be tempted to just calculate the integral from 0 to 3 by evaluating the primitive ln absolute value x minus 1 in between 3 with the, with the bounds of 3 and 0. In that case, you, uh, you, you would obtain the number ln 2, right? But this is obviously wrong.